In 1927, Route 39 was created to connect the state capital of Trenton by the Yardley-Wilbertha Bridge to the small town of Hamilton. The northern portion of Route 39 was intended to be built as a semicircular bypass of Trenton, paralleling present-day I-295, but according to my old maps, this stretch was never built. Starting in the 1950s, the New Jersey Highway Department and the Bureau of Public Roads began planning an interstate highway to parallel the New Jersey Turnpike from the Delaware Memorial Bridge to New Brunswick. The new Interstate 295 would function as a spur of the unbuilt I-95, bypassing the bustling cities of Wilmington and Philadelphia. North of Trenton, there was consensus on the general path Interstate 95 would take. From Trenton North, it is to be called I-95, and is to run alongside Route 1 to an intersection with the Turnpike at New Brunswick. According to a 1958 Highway Department map, the map indicates the turnpike will then carry both its own traffic and the cars and trucks from I-95 North to the Bergen-Passaic Expressway connection for the George Washington Bridge. However, south of Trenton, there was great debate about whether I-295 should be built at all, considering its proximity to the New Jersey Turnpike Superhighway. The toll-collecting New Jersey Turnpike has its own headache with the State Highway Department. Chiefly, it fears competition and subsequent revenue loss from a rival free public super road in South Jersey called Interstate 295. Greatly disturbed by the rival I-295, William J. Flanagan, executive director of the New Jersey Turnpike, laid his problem before the convention of the American Bridge, Tunnel and Turnpike Association in October 1962. He asked the Federal Bureau of Public Roads representatives why they allowed I-295 to be built paralleling the New Jersey Turnpike. We don't lay out the routes, they told Flanagan. All we do is approve them. Recalling the meeting, Flanagan told the Star-Ledger, I was told it was the choice of our own highway commissioner. I understand there are many considerations, but the Turnpike was never consulted on Route 295. The Turnpike director wasn't the only one who had an issue with I-295. J. Anton Agios, executive director of the NJ Citizens Highway Committee, told the Star-Ledger, Absolutely immoral for the highway department to approve. The construction of Route 295 south of Burlington County, where it parallels the New Jersey Turnpike, at some points only 100 feet away. Noting the limited population in South Jersey, Hagios added, The economic justification is totally lacking where they are building now. Henry S. Haynes, the retiring Democratic senator from Burlington County, declared hotly, It's damn disgusting to think that just because you can get 90-10 funds you've got to accept something no matter what. We need the southern part of I-295 like we need a hole in the head. With hindsight being 2020, Hagios and Haynes were wrong about 295. Route 130 was already in the process of being converted into a multi-lane highway starting in the 1940s. Taking the money from the federal government to upgrade 130 into an interstate and calling it 295 was a no-brainer. Meanwhile, north of Philadelphia, the state of Pennsylvania preferred to run I-95 along a relocated and widened Route 13 to Route 1 to the newly constructed Trenton-Morrisville toll bridge. However, New Jersey protested, claiming the recently opened Trenton Freeway lacked the capacity to carry the burden of an interstate highway. The two states went back to the drawing board and plans were finalized to construct a new crossing about a mile north of the old yardley Wilberthur Bridge. The new location coincides with plans of the New Jersey Highway Department for the proposed northern loop around Trenton. The general location is near enough to Yardley and Wilbertha to serve the local needs of both. A new highway network circumventing the population areas of Trenton, Yardley and Morrisville will give residents easy access to other major highways in the region. It would relieve interior traffic conditions in the communities nearby immeasurably. Construction began on the Scudder Falls Bridge in 1958 and was completed by June of 1961. On the New Jersey side, a short four-lane freeway, Route 129 was constructed to Scotch Road by the Trenton Mercer Airport. The future Interstate Route 95, now known as Route 129, is open to traffic from the Scudder Falls Bridge to Scotch Road, about three miles to the north. Locally, I-95 will connect with other principal highways in the area, including the new Route 69 freeway and Interstate 295. The northern part of the freeway will be known as Interstate 95. Under tentative plans, it will provide a direct route out of Pennsylvania across the Scudder Falls Bridge north of Trenton to Bound Brook for connections with the George Washington Bridge into New York and New England. Meanwhile, on the Pennsylvania side of the bridge, the freeway ended abruptly just past Taylorsville Road. 
About a decade passed before the state of Pennsylvania extended I-95 from Route 1 in Woodbourne to the Scudder Falls Bridge. North of Trenton, the Bureau of Public Roads shifted the alignment of the planned interstate. Recently, BPR decided to remove 10.5 miles of I-95 from the turnpike and transplant it onto Interstate 287 from a junction with the turnpike near Metuchen to a point in Somerset County. In Montgomery Township, opposition to the interstate was immediate. Residents formed the I-95 Citizens Committee and fought hard to block the interstate from their rural township. Montgomery wasn't the only problem. Officials from Franklin Township, South Plainfield, Piscataway, Middlesex, and Somerset counties seemed to endlessly bicker over where the interstate would link up with 287. The chief argument of the hearing was whether the connection with Route 287 should be on the Somerset side of the Raritan River near the southbound Brook border in Franklin or whether the highway should slice through more of Franklin, cross the Raritan on a new bridge, bisect Piscataway and continue into South Plainfield to Route 287. In 1969, the state of New Jersey and the Bureau of Public Roads came to an agreement on the alignment of I-95. William Roach, Somerset County Planning Director, told the County Planning Board last night he has received information from David Goldberg, State Commissioner of Transportation, that the Federal Bureau of Public Roads has approved the alignment from Amwell Road in Hillsborough to Route 287 in Piscataway. Goldberg advised that the state has been successful in adding a short connector, to be known as I-695, between Route 95 and Route 287 in the southbound Brook area. These two points of connection with Route 287 will provide the state the greatest flexibility in the selection of any future extension of a freeway north of Route 287. Goldberg also noted his department now has under study a freeway concept known as Route 807 in a corridor between the Garden State Parkway and Route 287. Piscataway and Hopewell dug in their heels and formed their own I-95 citizen committees to block construction of the much-needed Somerset Freeway. By 1975, the government's attitude towards highway building began to change, and the state considered diverting the funds for I-95 to other much-needed highway projects and mass transit. The only issue was whether the federal government would approve it. The state contends the 23-mile freeway link is no longer necessary and wants to use its $273 million in federal funding for other transportation projects. By 1982, the I-95 link was dead, and the state got to keep the hundreds of millions of dollars that would have been used to construct the Somerset Freeway. Howard, chairman of the House Public Works and Transportation Committee, and Brady were the prime movers of federal legislation that removed the Route 95 and 695 projects from the Interstate Highway Program. Some of the monies from the cancelled freeway were to be used towards the dualization of Route 206 between Montgomery Township and Somerville Circle. About 10 miles of 206 between Somerville Circle and Hillsborough have been improved over the past 45 years. The remaining six miles from the southern end of the Hillsborough bypass to Rocky Hill have yet to be improved. The two-mile dualization between Doctors Way and Triangle Road through Hillsborough has been ongoing for years due to delays with a contractor and railroad bridge that will need to be removed to bring the highway into the 1960s. For the next 36 years, a huge gap existed in I-95 between Trenton and Edison. In Mercer County, I-95 suddenly becomes I-295 near the Route 1 interchange, swinging drivers southward in what is essentially a giant Delaware U-turn. Amazingly, I-95 reappears amid the thick New Jersey air as the New Jersey Turnpike north of Exit 10 at Edison. It continues north across the George Washington Bridge, through New England to Maine. It wasn't until 2018, when two enormous flyover ramps were erected between the Pennsylvania Turnpike and the Delaware Expressway. The massive interchange was the final link to be completed of the 1,917-mile expressway between Maine and Florida. Cancelling the Somerset Freeway left the only big gap in I-95's entire East Coast route. Instead of a straight shot between Trenton and I-287, drivers get shuffled onto Route 1, Route 206, and other local roads, with traffic lights, congestion, and trucks mixing with everyday commuters. What should be a quick interstate link is now a slow, unpredictable detour that's frustrated motorists for decades.